are leaving Wall, South Dakota today, continuing west uh, further into South Dakota. We just entered the Black Hills National Forest and we are back in the mountains again. <laughs> yeah, this road we're on is yeah, we haven't we haven't done this in a while. It's a little sketchy. Um, but it feels great. It's beautiful here and we're headed to our campground in Custer State Park. Made it to Center Lake Campground in Custard State Park. Finally, get to do some boondocking. Uh, so right now, they actually have a, a water fill station here. So we're filling up our water tank before we move on to our actual campsite. All right, all full. Today we are getting out and exploring Custer State Park. It's a huge park. It's like on scale with a national park, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of cool just drives you can do. So that's what we're kind of doing today. Maybe some drives, maybe some hikes. Right. Wildlife viewing is just everywhere. There's no shortage in any time of day. I mean, it's 11, 10 o'clock right now. And we just saw buffalo. So. And we're not even on the drive we're doing yet. So the drive we're doing today is called Wildlife Loop. Apparently the thing here is to get caught in a buffalo jam, yeah. <laughs> buffalo traffic jam. Apparently, they I think they've got a herd of about 1,300 uh, bison in the park and they'll all move together across the road right in the middle of traffic. Well, we got in our buffalo jam within two minutes of entering the park. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the babies I and all. Yeah, they were so cute. I swear they like seek out the roads. <laughs> it's crazy. They they don't seem to have any fear whatsoever of making the turn. Take it right there. <laughs> A short turn. Oh, we just turned on to wildlife loop. <laughs> yeah, I mean we weren't even on the official wildlife loop road and have already run into probably 20, 20 bison. Bison, we keep calling them buffalo, but I believe they're bison. Oh my gosh, here's more. Well, the buffalo sightings here rival that of Yellowstone. The herd is huge and they're not shy about just wandering out. So <laughs> yeah. It's Yellowstone, they seem harder to see sometimes. Right. You do get a wider variety of wildlife maybe in Yellowstone, but this is a great park to come to see wildlife. Um, we're actually coming up on the park's <laughs> wild donkeys. We used to do donkey tours. Right, like so you could rent a donkey and ride ride around the park. Well, when they shut the tours down, they let the donkeys loose. And these donkeys that are here today are descendants of those old donkeys. Yeah, which is really cool. And um, they 
they're super, apparently super friendly and used to people approaching them so you can actually come up and pet them and feed them. So excited about that. We've come prepared with apples so we're gonna feed some, some wild donkeys. Donkeys are extremely popular. <laughs> They're extremely friendly. Yes. Um, they almost didn't even want our apples. I think that they are offered so many carrots and apples that they're just, ha about half of them just kind of turn their nose up at the apples. Already full. Yeah. So uh, if you come here, maybe bring some sugar cubes or something <laughs> unconventional. <laughs> they seem to like the carrots. Some a lady had a bag of carrots and they were doing great. Yeah. Apples, not so much. Yeah. Who would have thought? up the wildlife loop road. There was 18 miles, it took about an hour to drive. We saw a large herd of bison, pronghorn, antelope, is that what they're called? Something like that. Something like that. Um, what else did we see? We saw the wild burrows and some deer. It was, it was a really good drive. Today we're doing another scenic drive. We're gonna do the Needles Highway, uh, which is supposed to have a couple of really skinny tunnels. <laughs> uh, one of them I think is nine feet, nine inches tall by eight feet wide. So the van height is nine, about nine feet and the width with the mirrors out is eight feet. So yeah. <laughs> so, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Um, it's also going to lead us up to Sylvan Lake Lodge, which is said to be the crown jewel of Custer State Park. And we're hoping to get to do at least one hike up in that area. Well, we found parking at the Cathedral Spires um, sort of parking. trail. Yeah, we kind of made our own parking back there. This is one of the more popular trails in the park, uh, but the parking for it is severely inadequate. Yes. <laughs> and it's right on a curve, so people park in very bad spots, make it even skinnier than it is normally. <laughs> It's made it very hard for us to get through with the van. We have pulled completely off the road with the van. We're being we responsible. Yes. And uh, yeah, we're headed to do the trail. It's a one and a half mile out and back. So if we understand that correctly, I guess it'll be three miles round trip. Um, but it's supposed to be just absolutely beautiful. It goes through these um, tall rock formations that they call spires. So excited to check it out.
So what do you think so far? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think so far? Ah, it's like, like walking in downtown on the pavement. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so in shape. <laughs> Talk about something interesting, TJ. Oh, asking the wrong guy. <laughs> you want me to talk about something boring? I can do that. All right, tell us something boring. Um, last night for dinner, Brie made this <laughs> horrible spaghetti sauce. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't make the spaghetti sauce, it came in a jar. Uh, we're just finishing up our hike here at Cathedral Spires Trail and we're going to continue heading up the Needles Highway on to Sylvan. Still have one more questionable tunnel to go through. So. <laughs> it's the it's the little it's one. The skinny one. We'll see it. We'll see how it's skinny and short. We'll see how we do. Hopefully it won't get stuck. Honey the, uh, Winnie the Pooh style. <laughs> So this is the pandemonium that happens at this trailhead. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big sneeze, bless you. <laughs> That was the Needle's Eye Tunnel. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Somebody beeped. I don't know if they were beeping at us or just beeping. Well, so it is, of course, a one-way tunnel, and so there's no... <laughs> there's nobody controlling the traffic which direction. So if there's a line of cars, they just keep coming and coming. Until somebody gets pushy and just pushes their way in. So I think perhaps some people coming the other direction were getting frustrated that uh, they were having to wait so long because there was a long line on our side going through. Anyways, we made it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Well, we drove by Sylvan Lake and Sylvan Lake Lodge, and there was a lot of congestion there. It's obvious that that's one of the more popular areas in the park. We didn't even see parking, um, like a parking spot open. So we just kept on driving. We met some locals on the Cathedral Spires Trail that steered us towards Hill City, mm -hmm. which is where we're headed now. They have a couple of breweries and a winery here, so we're going to check those out. You know, calories out, calories in, that thing. <laughs> That's where we're headed. Yeah. So a little known fact, TJ is a big VW person. The first vehicle he ever owned was a 1976 VW Beetle. Owned, he... it, owned it for 25 years. Sold it right before we hit the road. Yes, exactly. That bus back there was pretty cool. Minor Brewery and Prairie Berry Winery. Winery share a campus here and they also happen to serve desserts. So we're headed to the Prairie Berry. <laughs> they also have. Which is very hard to say, by the way. <laughs> well, especially when you've had a couple of beers. <laughs> yes, but they're an open campus, so we get to carry our drinks. Take our beer from Minor over to Prairie Berry. Yep. Well, that's a wrap on the brewery and wineries. We've got to we've got to stop there because we have to drive home. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> they did have great beer. Yes. 
Yes, good and dessert. Pretty good dessert. Yep, it was a good end to the day for sure, but we're headed back to check on the pups. Absolutely.